So for this problem, my goal is to find the inverse and then to illustrate that both f of x and the inverse of x are in fact inverses of one another and I'm going to showcase that on a graph. So first, remember this is really the same as y. So personally what I would do, I'm being lazy, I would just go to the top and write a y. My first step in finding an inverse is to replace the y with x and the x with y. Okay? My second step is going to be to isolate the y. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2y plus 4 to the 1 third. Whatever your nth root is, we write it 1 over that. And now I'm going to use the, I'm going to use PEMDAS and I'm going to start from the bottom up. So I'm going to do adding and subtracting in order to isolate the y. Then I'll go to multiplying and dividing, exponents and parentheses. So starting with, there's nothing added or subtracted outside of parentheses. There is being divided by ops. Dividing is multiplying. I'm going to speed up the the steps now, 2y plus 4 equals 1 third. Now I'm moving on to the exponents. Whatever this exponent is, I'm going to put the entire thing in parentheses or brackets. I'm going to raise it to the reciprocal. What does this do? I, this is me showing my work. The 1s are going to reduce down to 1. The 3s are going to reduce down to 1. You probably think of that as canceling out. It's really reducing down to 1. And I'm left with 2y plus 4. That's my whole goal here in doing this, is to remove the exponent or at least to bump it down to a 1. This has to be shared with both the numerical value inside the parentheses and the variable. So 4 to the third is not 12. It means 4 times 4 to 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Am I correct? Yep. Okay. My next step is to move 4 to the opposite side. I'm going to do that by subtracting. So I have 64 minus, oops, 64 x cubed minus 4 equals 2y. Then I'm going to divide by 2. Now this 2, as, as you go on, I, this is me showing my work. It's going to be shared here and it's going to be shared here. Can I take 64 and divide it by 2? Sure can. There's 32. I attach an x cubed. Can I take 4 and divide it by 2? Sure can. And now I have to be able to denote this as the inverse of the original. So I'm going to come up top here and the original was f of x. We denote it as to the negative 1 and now it's 32 x cubed minus 2. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's graph this together. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to be lazy right now. I, let's see, I haven't erased anything for a purpose. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to change this into 2x plus 4, and it's all over 4. And on the bottom, I have 32x cubed. Oh, I didn't, I didn't finish that. I have 32... Come back here. I did. There we go. 32x cubed, and it is minus 2. Okay, so here's what we have. Here's our first function. Here's our second. And we can see if we split those directly in half, would those, in fact, could I fold along that black line, and would those two lie directly on top of each other? If they did, it tells you you did something wrong algebraically, and you need to go back and check it out.